So I was just scrolling through my feed and one fine day I found a comment on my DevOps real time scenarios series on my YouTube channel. Hmm. Shall I create a video on this topic? Shall I create a video on this comment? Let's do this. Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video. As you already know why I'm creating this video. For those who still don't, this is a response to a comment on one of my videos. Seriously, feature brands from production branch or a release branch in live environment, this never happens. During this scenario, fixes bugs that need to start from dev branch and then streamline to stage and QA and finally release to the production. That's the reason all versions are not ready for production. So this was the comment. I'm answering this question on the basis of my experience that I have in my IT career. Let me resolve this confusion in less than five minutes. Taking a hotfix branch from a release branch is a common practice in software development to address critical issues or bugs in a stable release that cannot wait until the next regular release cycle, which could be seven to 15 days, depending on your team and the practices that they follow. Hotfixes are meant to be deployed quickly and resolve urgent problems without introducing new features or changes that might not be fully tested. Now do not get confused between a feature branch and a hotfix branch. Hotfix branches are different from feature branches in that they are used to fix bugs and security flaws in released versions of the software. Feature branches on the other hand are used to develop new features for upcoming releases. Here are seven scenarios which you might want to take a hotfix branch from the release branch or a master branch. Number one, critical bugs in production. When a severe bug or an issue is discovered in the latest stable release that affects user in production, you may need to create a hotfix branch from the corresponding release or a master branch to fix the problem swiftly. Second, security vulnerabilities. If a security vulnerability is identified in the current release, it is crucial to take a or create a hotfix branch from the release branch to address the vulnerability promptly and protect users from the potential exploits. Number three, data integrity or corruption. In cases where data integrity is compromised and the problem can be fixed through code changes, a hotfix branch from the release or a master branch is created to address the issue. Number four, showstopper bugs. Sometimes a severe bug is discovered after the release that prevents critical functionality from working correctly. A hotfix branch allows you to tackle the issue separately from ongoing development work. Number five, regulatory compliance. If the release software fails to meet certain regulatory requirements or legal standards, a hotfix branch may be necessary to bring the software into the compliance. Number six, customer blocking issues. If a major bug or problem is reported by a significant customer, a hotfix branch might be created to address the issue for that specific customer without affecting the regular release cycles, and that has to be taken from master or a release branch. Number seven, avoiding disruptions in development. If the development work for the next major release has already started on the main development branch, it might be better to create a hotfix branch from the release branch to avoid interrupting the ongoing development work. Now here are some additional tips for using hotfix branches. Number one, only create a hotfix branch if the bug or security flaw is critical and needs to be fixed immediately. Number two, make sure the hotfix branch is based on the latest commit on the master or the release branch. Number three, only commit changes that fix the bug or security flaw to the hotfix branch. Number four, merge the hotfix branch into the master branch and develop branches as soon as the bug is fixed. Number five, delete the hotfix branch after it is merged into the master and develop branches. So that is for the video folks. Do hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. This will help me a lot to grow and yeah, share this video in your DevOps and cloud related communities or groups. Signing off folks, I will see you very, very soon.